Hi, I'm Sam from Sitecode and in this presentation we will explore some of the common ways to create Visual Studio projects for Sitecode. We will also look at the various approaches available for it. Once you install a new Sitecore instance, you will observe absence of any Visual Studio projects file in the website folder created by Sitecode. Should you need to know how to install Sitecode, please watch the video Installing Sitecode using Web Application Installer from Developer Fundamental Series on Sitecode CP Training Channel on YouTube. Sitecode doesn't create a default project to provide you with the flexibility to choose between ASP.NET Web Application or ASP.NET MVC model as per your requirement. Sitecode now supports ASP.NET Web Application model and ASP.NET MVC model. Initially, Sitecore only supported web application model. Sitecore responded with native support for MVC with version 6.6. .6. The latest version of MVC supported is 3 as of this video and an update is in progress to add support for MVC 4. If you find it a tough task choosing between web application and MVC or perhaps would love to have best of both the worlds for certain portion of your implementations Disappoint not. You can run both with some tweaking of configurations at root level configs, but it might have its implications on presentation components. We would attempt to cover this in an upcoming video later. There are two distinct approaches on how to create Visual Studio project for Sitecore implementation. The first option is inside CMS root or web root. This is the simplest but may not be best way for real life implementations as it mixes Sitecore project assets and your solution assets. The second approach is creating a separate development route or dev route. That is creating your project outside CMS route, thereby keeping a clear separation between Sitecore assets and your solution assets. We will look at the demo of first approach that is inside CMS route in this presentation and explore the dev root approach in separate presentation. Creating a Visual Studio project for Sitecore inside CMS root is fairly straightforward and has certain pros and cons. The first most advantage is quick and easy setup followed by its ease to build and preview the output. CMS approach is good under the scenarios where you would love to do a quick POC or test an idea. It may not be a good idea to use this approach for real life implementation requiring component reference to multiple projects. The cons include no clear separation of Sitecore and your solution resources as they are mixed together making it difficult to source control your project assets. Additionally, upgrading Sitecore or any other add-on modules could also pose a challenge. Let's try to understand how to create a Visual Studio project for Sitecore inside CMS root that is our first approach. Let's investigate a clean installation of Sitecore with default settings to see what are the system components installed. Should you need to know how to install Sitecore, please watch the video installing Sitecore using Web Application Installer from Developer Fundamental Series on Sitecore CP Training YouTube channel. Let's drill down to our Sitecore instance in WW root and choose Sitecore 7 which in my case happens to be my Sitecore instance. Double click to explore the folder and observe three folders data, database, website. These are part of Sitecore system components. You can explore Sitecore system components in the video titled Sitecore system components from developer fundamental series on Sitecore CP training channel on YouTube. Let's look inside the website folder. It is easy for one to make up that it is a standard ASP.NET website as we observe assets such as app browser, app config, global.asx and web.config at root level. We also notice that there is no project file included in the website. So, how do we open this in Visual Studio? Well, there are various approaches and one of them is to create a blank project file here and add the assets to the project. Let's look at the approach. 
launch Visual Studio with administrative privilege as we need write permission in WW root. Choose file, new project, and from the install components, choose Visual C Sharp, select web, and choose ASP.NET empty web application template. Ensure framework is set to 4.0 or 4.5 for site code 7. Provide a name for your web application. I will name it site code 7 after the name of my instance. For location, browse to the website directory of your site core instance. Click select folder. Ensure that you uncheck directory for solution and add to source control is optional. Say OK. It will create a blank ASP.NET web application for us. Close the solution and go back to your website folder. Observe the new Sitecore 7 folder. Open the folder to find your project and solution files. We need the properties folder Sitecore7.cs project file, Sitecore7.solution file at bare minimum. It may be a good idea to include Visual Studio solution user options file and Visual Studio project user options file. Let's make copy of all these five assets. Properties, project file, project user file, solution file, solution user options file. And paste in website folder. We can now delete Sitecore 7 folder. Let's open the solution in Visual Studio. Expand the project node to look at the project files. And we observe that we still don't have our project assets included. Select the project file. Click show all. And all of our project assets are visible now. Let's include bare minimum that we need. App browser. App config. Layouts, XSL, default.aspx, default.css, default.js, and global.asx file. Now we can hide rest of the files. Expand web.config and remove the two broken web.debug.config and web.release.config The next step is to add references that we need for our solution. At the bare minimum, we must add a reference to psycho.kernel. Once you have added the reference, ensure that you have set copy local to false. This will ensure that this DLL is not copied to output directory. You may add as many as sidecore DLLs as per your application requirement. Please ensure that you are setting copy local false for all of those. Now we are all set, let's build to test if we created the project successfully and as we observe the compilation was successful. This brings us to the end of this demonstration. We welcome your comments and feedback. Please provide your feedback or comments on our YouTube video channel Sitecore CP Training.
We would also like to listen to you as to what topic you would like to learn next. Once again, this is Shane from Sitecore. Thanks for watching.